South Shore at Easton Williams, the pastor at Caselville United Methodist Church, and this is our midweek devotional. This week's devotional is entitled, I Am the Resurrection and the Life, and it comes from John chapter 11, 17 through 27. Hear the word of the Lord. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes. Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. This is the word of God for we, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the gift of this day and for this opportunity to um, just reflect and meditate on your holy word. God, we just ask that you remake us, reform us, reshape us in your image that we might be able to go out into the world to help make disciples of Jesus the Christ. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Amen. I wonder what we Christians could do, who we could become if we really believed with our actions what we say with our words. In our scripture lesson, Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus, the one you love, Lazarus, is ill. They knew Jesus could heal him and expected not only that he would want to come and heal uh, Lazarus, but that he would want to come right away. When Jesus finally got there, Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days. It looked like it was the end. From a distance, Martha heard that Jesus was coming and instead of waiting for him to arrive, Martha went to meet him. And she says something that I think is curious. She says, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Now I find that curious because Martha must have known that everything and everybody that is created will die. She knows this, but She's in mourning. She's in grief. Grief is about how I feel, what I've suffered, and what I've lost. Martha said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Oh, I wish we believed what we say we believe. Do we believe that God will give Jesus what he asks? On the night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, surrounded by folks who would soon deny him, one who would even betray him, Jesus served his disciples bread and wine, which would become symbols of the forgiveness of sins. Jesus does this knowing exactly who each one of them is. Even the one who would sell him out for a few pieces of silver and they all get served the same meal of reconciliation. Not only that, Jesus, while he was pinned and bleeding on a cross, spat upon, cursed, abused, looked at the faces of his oppressors and prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Jesus extends the gift of forgiveness for those who would murder him, even while his physical body is being broken and his blood is being spilled. I wish we believed what we say we believe. 
We say we believe in a love that is far greater than our own capacity to love. A love that is always calling us to do more and to be more by his grace than we can ever imagine, ask, or think. Jesus says to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who believes in me will never die. Do you believe? Martha says, yes. Yes, Lord, I believe. You know the rest of the story. Lazarus is literally raised from the dead. Now, when I was a teenager, there was a late night show called The Arsenio Hall Show. The Arsenio Hall Show featured a segment called Things That Make You Go, Hmm. Lazarus is physically raised from the dead after four days. Why? He will only have to die again. The people gathered will have to mourn and cry again someday. Hmm. Verse 4 says that when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, he said, this illness does not lead to death. Rather, it is for God's glory so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Hmm. A story is told of a, a Japanese criminal named Tokichi Ishii, who had piteous, pitilessly and brutally murdered men, women, and children. While he was in prison awaiting death, he was visited by two Canadian women who tried to talk to him through the prison bars. He glowered at them like a savage animal, and finally they just abandoned attempts to reach him. But they gave him a Bible, hoping God through the Bible might succeed where they had failed. Ishii began to read the Bible, and having started, he could not stop reading. He read on until he came to the story of the crucifixion and the words Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And these words broke him. Ishii said, I stopped and I was stabbed to the heart as if pierced by a five-inch nail. Shall I call it the love of Christ? Shall I call it is his compassion? I do not know what to call it. I only know that I believed and my hardness of heart changed. The murderer had been born again. Christ had brought Takichi Ishii to life. Hmm. Jesus brought Lazarus to life and he can bring us to life. We who have become so selfish, so privileged that we are dead to the needs of other folks, Jesus can transform us into people who serve with joy and with thanksgiving. He can bring us to life. We who are so insensitive and indifferent to others that we are dead to what's going on in other people's lives. He can make us into people of prayer and of compassion. He can bring us to life. We who are dead to honor and those of us who dabble in disloyalty and dishonesty, he can make us into those who live and worship in spirit and in truth. He can bring us to life and mount us on wings as eagles that we may run and not get weary, that we might walk and not faint. Jesus can resurrect all of us even now. Do you believe in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Amen.